All right, man. We are live. Here we go. Yo, 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 welcome to the podcast, welcome to the podcast, I'm your host, LD, the kid, and you tuning in to Likeable Dialogue, uh-oh, see, man, I be always messing up my intro. <laughs> Shout out to Likeable Dialogue, 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 Hey man, look man, we got a, a a wrestling episode for you today, man. Mm-hmm. Look, a lot of people was heating me up, man. They liked it the last episode that we did. And look, man, look, you you tune into the channel, you can be on the channel, man. We got my boy Dundee in the house. What's up? Dundee, what's going on with you, man? How you doing, man? I feel good. It was a, a, good? a, a very good show. I enjoyed it. Okay, okay, okay. My boy Dundee, man, you so so you watched the, so you got to keep me, you got to like walk me through because I had the TV on because I was doing another live, but I was watching, but I didn't uh see all the um I didn't understand all the words of what was going on behind the show. So I did see Cody Rose did come out though, right? Yes, he did come out. He kicked off the show. Oh, he so he was the first. Dang, I missed that, man. I'm mad that I missed that now, man. So tell me what happened, man. So so what was said uh with Cody Rose? So, the the promo he actually cut was more of a heelish promo. It was a uh, heel. Yeah. Well, wow! I wouldn't go as far as say as full blown heel, but he had a lot more edge in his language. Okay, look, you he, got me about to pull up pull up uh, the WWE Instagram page when you said that. Now, also, man. There, there's one moment during this promo that had me laughing. What's that? So. He quoted his wife, Brandy Rhodes. I think it was a moment in AEW where Jade Cargill interrupted Cody Rhodes. Brandy came out and said, uh, I believe it was like, who the hell told you it was open mic night, bitch? I mean, you said Jade Cargill told Brandy Rhodes that? That was in AEW. Then Uh Cody responded to The Rock with that on SmackDown. Oh wow, bro, that is crazy, man. You know what I didn't do, man? I didn't put us live on the Facebook page. Man, I'm tripping. Uh <laughs> it's in a, and it probably ain't gonna let me do it. Let's see. Oh, it let me do it. Schedule. My bad, my bad. I know we in the middle, but stuff happens. Let's see. Mm. Oh, let's see. It's adding us to it. All right, cool. Now we on the Facebook page too. So man, yeah. So I didn't. So man, like I like I said, I had everything is on 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 mute, man. So like, um, let's talk about the let's let's talk about um this solo. I'm interested in the solo part, man. So tell me, what was Paul Heyman saying, bro? He was so the first there was a, a backstage incident. Uh huh. So he was telling Solo that actions you know ending consequences and that was about that for the backstage segment then then the in ring when they were together um paul was you know talking about how actions or consequences and all that and then pretty much congratulated cody oh he was coach so um I did see a point where Paul Heyman was talking and he's, his face was like from talking to going like, to going like that. So like, what is, what, what did Solo say in, in order for him to like, to do that? So Solo um, asked the same question back to Paul saying actions do take consequences, right? Right. Paul Heyman, of course, said yes. Then he looked to Jimmy, and then the whole mood changed. Wow. So what happened with Jimmy? Look, I'm asking you all these questions, bro, because I, I look, I messed up because I had it on mute because I was I already nice. had a had oh, one good. had a live schedule. So good. So good. Then Jimmy bought into it. They hugged. Uh huh. So you know, said, "I love you. You're my brother." Then he walked away. Then a hooded man comes running from the crowd in the right, ring right. and blindsides Jimmy. Dang. And 
Yo, I was watching that man. That was kind of brutal though when he put that chair on his head. I think he hit him for real, like on the cool mm-hmm. though, man. Like that was that was that was a bit brutal, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That yeah. was brutal for real. So yeah. my boy Gaston, man, who was on who was on the show last time, he told me he was like, Man, they finna push solo. Solo finna become the number one tribe of chief. Do you believe yeah. solo finna become the number one tribe of chief? They finna give him a hard push. No, but in my mind, I like to see Solo, I think, following in the path of someone like Gunther. Okay. okay. A, he he needed that extra elevation. And I think having um, Tama Tonga can uh-huh. really benefit both of them. Okay. Man, dude, that bro, dude, it was man, that was I mean, it was crazy. I seen him, I said, man, he would have put that chair over his head. I said, oh, and then he hit him. I said, oh, that looked hard, man. That looked mm. crazy, man. That was very crazy. Yeah. So, so let me ask you, man. Um, which one do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy Raw more or SmackDown more? Or 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 you still have to wait to see what this new era brings? So far, I think Raw's definitely the stronger show at the minute. Uh-huh. Just way more stars and just way more time. But SmackDown are making use of what they've got, and they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. What's your thoughts on Jay Cargill? Just too many of these squash matches. I prefer her in tag team matches rather than five-second squash matches. Right. Like, oh. I- yeah. So was it so was so would you say this was a five second squash match with her and Bianca? Like I like I seen them when they came out, but I didn't see the match because it was by the time I looked up, it was over with. Yeah, Piper Niven wanted Bianca to tag Jade. There's Piper Piper actually got a little bit of a fencing, but Chelsea tagged in and it was all done there. It was all done. What's your thoughts on Jay Gar- Cargill uh, wrestling skills? Do you think she's a little bit aggressive, or do you think she's uh, she need to go back to NXT? In uh, what? First of all, was she even in, in that? Was she ever in NXT? She made an appearance, but not in ring. Oh, okay. So not in ring. Okay. So do you think she need to go back to the drawing board? All I'll say is this. Logan Paul had three matches and we called him amazing. Right. I still, I still don't know how I feel about Jay Cargill after three matches. And Ooh. she had a best match on her debut. Oh, I like that. Shout out like to Michael Bullard. I like that. Hey, dude. Ooh, Dundee. Hey, bro. That was <laughs> hey, am I saying your name right? Dundee, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dundee, man, bro. That's man, you right on him. You right, bro. Say that for me one more time, man. Hold on. Hold on. Let's rewind that back. <laughs> It took Logan Paul's first three matches. We already called him amazing, great. Jay Cargillis had three matches. I still don't know what don't don't know what to think of her. And she her debut was a WrestleMania match. Right. I'm not counting the Royal Rumble. That's that's completely different. Yeah, that's crazy. We got a comment. It says, "Hello, hey, how you doing? Hey, just uh, thank you for thank you for tuning in." <laughs> Uh yeah, man, that's crazy, man. Uh Jay Cargill to me, she's a little bit too aggressive. And I even thought at WrestleMania she was a little bit too too uh aggressive. I felt like she was like really like like kicking for like we know it's all entertainment, right? It's all entertainment for yeah. us. But I feel like she was really like when she ran and did that soup, that scissor kick and that jaded boom, and she man, I feel like she's a bit I I feel like she needs to. She just needs to go back to the drawing board just a little bit more. There was a moment in the match where you know she done. I don't even know what was it, some form of spine buster where she picked their leg up and just threw them up and slammed them down. Uh huh. I saw Chelsea hit the ground and she immediately held the front of her head and you could just see yeah. her head bounce a little bit. Yeah. Oh man, you know what? Somebody else. Did that move, and I remember they hurt somebody because they didn't let their arms go. Do you know who I'm talking about? I remember watching an interview, and somebody said, like, uh, he lift me up in the air, but he never let my hands go. So when I went down, boom, I hit my face on the mat. 
Man, who was that? I can't think of it. I'll have it in my mind. As soon as this stream is over with, I'll have it in my mind who did that. But I don't know who did that. That's crazy. I don't know either. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Man, I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to see who it was. Do you remember what type of match it was? I don't. I remember watching an interview and they was talking about it, but I don't remember who what who who really it was. I remember watching it on the interview and they was talking about it. And for those that are watching who know what I'm talking about, somebody she say, How was your day? Um, I, I guess okay. So uh my day's just started. How was your day, Dundee? <laughs> <laughs> our day is fine we appreciate it. hey can you subscribe to the channel and then go press the like on the um the live video for me and my boy dundee we're gonna give you some bah, 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 bah. shout out to likeable dialogue hey man but yeah man so that's crazy so let me ask you a question man so do you believe so where do you believe that solo's career is going I feel like he's about to step up in a major way. First of all, before I ask that question, right? Do you believe? So you remember how back in the day it was um, like we had all these star studded stars. We had Kurt Angle. We had Stone Cold. We had The Rock. We had Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho. Everybody was star studded. And maybe it's just me because I haven't been watching it. I was one of the ones that The Rock brought back to wrestling, right? And so made it cool again. And so maybe it's just me and I don't know everybody. But do you feel like right now WWE has um, those star studded stars, stars? Or do you feel like um, they're soon to be coming still? We still have to wait for this new era to usher out. I mean, I, I think I think they're still ready to grow. I mean, there's a reason why they're going to France in a couple of weeks, uh -huh. and Scotland in June, and um, Germany I think in August, okay, so, or October. I might be wrong, but yeah, it, ev everyone's going to grow and everyone's going to really benefit from going international. Yeah, yeah, they, everybody's definitely going to go good. But I mean, what I'm, but what I'm referring to is like the stars. Like they don't have the stars right now. I mean, you know, you know more than me, so that's why I'm asking. Do you feel like they have the stars right now? Like, so, like when you watch when you watch SmackDown tonight, did you realize all the stars? Did you know all the? I mean, you probably know them all, but are they stars like the Chris Benoit's, the Chris Jericho's? Because you remember back in the day, everybody was a pop. Boom, everybody, you know, Jericho. Chris Benoit, everybody. So I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Do you believe they have the stars today? <sighs> WrestleMania, it was it was cool, but like SmackDown, like you know, when you watch SmackDown back in the day, they had the stars. Yeah. Well, what I noticed with this show today, even the the lore card talent, they they still got reactions from the crowd. Okay, especially uh, Tiffany Stratton. Mm -hmm. She had a decent little pop. Um, there was a Tiffy Time chant in the crowd as well. But, I mean, we're in an era where Tiffany's more over than Naomi. Man, you know what? I'm Bro, man, Dundee, shout out to like... I'm glad you said that. Shout out to likeable dialogue. Dundee, I'm glad you said that, man. I feel like they brought Naomi back, but she's not... Because I remember when Naomi first came onto the scene, she was like the the it girl. She was it. You know what I'm saying? And after that, is she, you know, she just kind of like went downhill. We got another comment. Everybody saying hi. Uh, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? We appreciate you for tuning in. Um, you know, if you if you're a WWE fan right now, right now at this moment, we're talking wrestling. Uh, if you know have any comments, uh, we will appreciate you. Just comment, like, and then make sure you press that subscribe button. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> But yeah, go ahead, Dundee. What to talk about next? Well, no, well, we was, ta we was talking, talking about Naomi. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Naomi. So how do you feel about Naomi at this moment right now? Do you feel like they have to build her back up? I think, I mean, they'll, they'll obviously have to build her back up. But to me, what I've seen, she's kind of somewhat did it to herself to come back with that exact same gimmick. Oh, Dundee. Oh, Dundee. Yeah, you said it. You said it. 
she had a career in WWE before she came back, and she had a career in Impact. So, and she took this, and you're right, man. Dang, Dundee, you are so right. Look, she took the, and if you think about it, and you, look, and this is why I say you're right, because if you think about it, she took the same gimmick to TNT. Then she go to Impact, right? TNT, mm-hmm. and then she did she went did she go to AEW as well? No, I'm not for sure, no, but I just I, know I she took the same sure glow style there versus developing a whole new character like Cody Rhodes and then coming back to the business. And now you're this. I feel like she came back too fast, too. She should have took some time off to like really develop a new character. So let me ask you this question. Do you believe that's why she she had a one on one match tonight, right? Yeah. So do you believe that's why they gave her that one on one match? Like to try to like build her career back up? Oh yeah, definitely. And 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 on the go go ahead, go ahead. Um and especially against Tiffany Stratton, who is very up and coming and people who are actually getting to know her. She's getting popular. She, right. She's making connections with the crowd and Naomi's just struggling with that. Yeah, she's struggling with it. Yeah, she's struggling with it. She's struggling with it. And I think they're trying to build her up more so because the Usos are are doing their thing. But I think, man, Naomi Kendall might be out, man. I, like, it might be out. Like, for me, Naomi needs to be... Well, for me, it could have went two ways. You can either have Naomi have a different gimmick and remain, like, in a woman faction or something. I think that can work for her. Uh-huh. Or... Join the bloodline. Oh, that would be fire. If she, if she would have joined the bloodline, Jimmy would not have gotten barred. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. So Naomi, man, she, she, what can Naomi, you, so, so you saying join the, the bloodline? That would be good. That would be good. But, but how would they sell that story? Like she, she joined the bloodline. Oh, man. What's the, okay. So dang it. SummerSlam is not until August, right? Yeah. So I was finna say join the bloodline and then double cross uh double cross Bianca Blair and Jay Cargill. That was sale. For me, it's either well I, my perfect scenario is either Naomi joins the bloodline or Jade Bianca and Naomi all turn heel and make a faction. Hmm. Because all three of them, they're all stars, but like all the other girls, they've got really nothing to do. I don't like them together. I don't understand it. I don't I think what they did was they tried to and and they what they tried to do is put three African American girls together in a group and sell it, sell that as a package. And unfortunately, that package is just not selling. That product is not selling. No, they like Jade, but I don't even think people like Jade that much. She don't even like when she first came, they booed her. And then now when she come out, she don't even get a big of a pop. Like, you know, like, oh, like, do you think, do you, do you agree or do you disagree on that? Well, her entrance, that, that was, di- it's different. She got a pop for her entrance, but the end ring work was a bit dull to say the least. Right, right. Because I've, yeah. I've only ever seen her do four different moves. And like even at WrestleMania, very forgettable. What her yeah. hers very and, forgettable. And 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 let me tell you why. She came into the she came into the ring. She ran, did a did a scissor kick, and then uh did a backbreaker, and then did the jaded, and then that was it. That was it. Mm-hmm. It's like I think they trying to like this modern day female Goldberg is not happening. Cause you remember Goldberg, you see, boom, one, two, three, it's over with. Yeah. This modern day Goldberg is is it's not happening for her, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not feeling that, man. I'm not yeah. feeling that. And uh, her promo work as well is not the greatest. And you know what? I don't even really see her. Yeah, yeah. And you know who else? Um, promo work is not that good. Naomi's. Do you remember the promo work that they tried to do with all three of them? Uh, I think it was like the Friday night before SmackDown, before WrestleMania. I heard the promo today. <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't get to hear the promo today. How was the promo today? Like, w- w- what was it about? I mean, 
It wasn't awful. It was just about like I'm gonna go like, back and watch it, man. Look, let me see. Very, let me see. very much. Who do you think you are? And uh, I'll beat you. So get a ref then. Pre- very much t- stereotypical. Yeah, the stereotypical, like you said. Yeah, I'm I'm pulling it up, pulling it up right now, man. What's your thoughts on um? What's his name? Um, Damon Judgment Day guy, Damien. For me. I, I've had this thought for a full week. Damien needs to turn face. He needs to turn face? Yeah. He needs to turn face. Ever since he's won that title, he's got nothing but cheers. And you deserve a chance. And they've already, you know, teased the breakup last year. So it makes perfect sense. And I can even see Damien and Finn Balor at SummerSlam. Oh, that'd be dope. I Look, I'm finna, I'm finna go I'm finna go backwards. I'm gonna wind it back a little bit. <laughs> and I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna listen to Naomi's uh promo. Okay. And that way I can hear what was what, what, what was it about. Hold on. I already beat you. Wait, no motion. It's just very dead. <laughs> Wrong night, little girl. No. Sure, you've beaten me before, but here's what you don't know. I have earned every single thing that I've gotten here in the WWE, and I don't plan on stopping now. She's not selling it. Oh, she got a pop, though, man. She got a pop. So, babe, I can't accept your that, challenge. That, that comes with a crowd. It was a, it was quite a lively crowd. Because say. first, I want to take on clueless Tiffany right here and right now. That, that was cringy. That was cringy. That was cringy. Was, you think so? Well, what did she just say? Confused said, Tiffany. I, but, but I'm confused though. Why was she not? If if the W if the WWE female champion is offering, did, so I, I'm assuming that Bailey told her she want to fight her right for the championship, right? If Bailey telling me I want to fight you for the championship, but this other person is in my way, but I don't really have to fight her, that doesn't make sense to to that mm-hmm. that I don't understand that that logic. You 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 understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, why am yeah. I paying her any attention when 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 she, when the champion want to face me? That doesn't mm-hmm. that logic doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, it's I think the way that Bailey's promo was set up and written was a bit. How, how would I put, you know what, the best way I could put it is, I think Bailey is starting to get that John Cena treatment now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, people actually like her. So I'm, I'm just worried. I'm just worried if it'll be a very dull title reign. With Bailey? Yeah. I don't see why. What did Naomi do to deserve a championship uh, contendership? Besides being her friend, I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand that. Uh, I don't know. They need to get more creative. And plus, in in kayfabe, if you're gonna if you're gonna wrestle Tiffany, that makes a lot more sense. There's more money to make there. There's mm. and also it's just I actually I feel like they should have put Naomi through through some fire and then you know what I'm saying and then uh, did that. Tiffany is a bigger name than Naomi in the WWE at the minute, so. Mm-hmm. That they, they should definitely do that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, cool. man. So, man, let's let's talk about this uh main event, man. I I was that was I caught that match, the well, main event. I, yeah. uh, first of all, before we even talk about it, I'm just going to skip towards the end real quick, and then we can bring it back. Man, I said on the last wrestling um show that I did, I said, man. I don't like that AJ Styles losing. And then my boy Gaston was like, uh, my boy Gaston was like, uh, he say, oh, that was Gaston texting me right now. Uh, my boy Gaston said that, um, that, uh, that a, they ushering in the new era. So of course they want him to lose. But did you see the way he uh what was it? What what's AJ Style move called? Styles Clash. The Styles Clash off the rope. Oh man, bro, that was awesome, bro. 
I actually thought they was about to run out of time because it was like 857 and Fox don't let you go overtime for some reason. What is I don't understand why they won't let them go overtime when like this show is like giving you the most of your eyeballs. The the news is not finna give you the re- the most of your eyeballs. Like you you overseas, I'm here in the states, dude. Everybody, you getting all eyeballs on this one show, man? That doesn't make sense. Why you don't want to go in overtime? Mm. I mean, actually, I think some very good raw moments have came after like it went off the air. Like, did you see the the clip of the Rock off air when he beat Cody Rhodes? Oh yeah, and you know what? I didn't get to watch that one. I had to go back and watch it on YouTube. Man, I think I was doing some doing some other stuff, man. But that was crazy, though, man. That that's crazy, man. When you get the the most views right now, you had millions of people at your disposal, and you decide to just, hey, we're gonna just do away with it. That just doesn't make sense to me for some particular reason. That just mm. doesn't make sense. To you me. want to thank Drew McIntyre for that because his tweet during his match at WrestleMania. Did you see the numbers? What was it? 33 million views on that one tweet over 100k likes now i think dang and, and, and what did he say bored at work lol like mid-match when he was facing seth rollins oh really yeah wow bro that is crazy dude <laughs> that is crazy man um so this match it was sim did you see when uh uh Kevin Owens um did the stunner off the, like on the side of the thing on the side of the ropes with uh Rey Mysterio? There was a spot actually probably not probably not that because I had I went downstairs to wash my face and then came back up. There was a there was one spot that I caught a glimpse of. I think it was all three men were in one turnbuckle. And I think there was a power bomb and a reverse suplex with all three of the men mm-hmm. right at that spot. So I saw that one. And I'm not sure if it was a reverse suplex, but there was a spot towards the end with all three men. Yeah, that was crazy, man. You know what? I want AJ Styles to win a championship, man. How about you? Like, what's your thoughts on AJ Styles? He's see, I'm, see the, the reason why I want AJ Styles to win a championship because I'm not I'm, like I'm just now coming back into this wrestling thing. The Rock made it cool again. And so like I just I don't know. I just want to see AJ with a title, man. What's your thoughts? I just think it's the wrong time. That's all. The wrong time. Just, just the wrong time. There's too many ideas that would work with other people than AJ Styles. Okay. So that, that's kind of where I'm at, but he he do, he does deserve to be at the top spot again. Okay, 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 okay. Um, he's not beating LA Knight next week though. He's not beating LA Knight. Oh, let's 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 take a look at him. Oh, LA, I didn't even know who LA Knight was, but until I seen him, he had like I seen him like on a on a on last week's SmackDown, and he had a pop. I was like, who is this guy? This dude. I feel like LA Knight kind of give me. Uh, what was that dude name that was in the shield? He gave me his vibes. The dude, not it wasn't Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose. Who? who? Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. He gave me his vibes, and then he try, and then he kind of gave me uh Kennedy vibes, and he kind of gave me like a little bit of a wanna be Stone Cold vibes. It, it, what it's you think? To, well, my. My assumptions of LA Knight to me is modern day rock. Modern day rock? The way he talks, he delivers, um, even his voice actually sounds similar to the rock as well. He, there's been, there was actually a little thing on Twitter where they put the both voices side by side and, you know, they sound very similar. Oh, wow. So, and he's been compared to the rock quite a lot in some aspects. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that one up. He's also an independent scene legend, so like it, like AJ Styles. Okay, okay, that's cool, I, man. I, I've seen his whole career from 2021 when he signed all the way to now. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, so you so you invested with you? You really invested? That's cool. That's cool. I wasn't cool. invested, but I've I've seen his journey from You've seen his to journey. End. Okay. So do you see him as a future champion in the future? And and, and if so, oh, yeah. which championship do you see him uh, becoming first? 
it's got to be the United States title. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. I was going to say. I was going to say that, man. And our continental yeah. Inter- Inter- title has Sheamus written all over it. He is he is going to win that maybe at WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Yeah, he he deserves it. Sheamus Steeler? I don't never. He's, I mean, he's returning I'm just on Monday. Back, but he's I returned never, on Monday. Oh, he returned on Monday. But Monday Night Raw looks fantastic. Have, I watched it. Did I watch? I watched it. Didn't I? Because I was. I, I thought The Rock was gonna show up. Oh, The Rock did show up. I don't know where I must have went to the restaurant or something. I don't remember seeing it. But you know who, who will be good? Seamus and Drew McIntyre. That'll be a good match. They had a match, I think, during the Thunderdome era fast lane. It was very good. Oh, very really? Good match. It, it was it was quite funny because they, they took a remember the 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 what was it? The explosion death match in AEW. Uh-huh. They took the piss out of that kind of a little bit. Uh huh. With you know throwing each other off the stage and everything. Oh wow! So they've got a lot of chemistry. They've known each other since they were seventeen, eighteen, wrestling in the UK. Oh, okay. So they got history together then. Yeah. Uh, him and Kevin o- Sheamus and Kevin Owens. I'm pretty sure we already saw that one before too, right? Probably somewhere in the pandemic era. Yeah. Probably somewhere in the pandemic. <laughs> Hey, no, it probably is somewhere in the pandemic. Man, we, area. we saw Seamus and Jeff Hardy in a bar fight in the pandemic era. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Uh, I want to, I want to kind of like uh, we'll wind it back one more time, and I want to share my screen. And hopefully, you know what? I think if I share my screen too much on this uh, WWE, they might flag flag live and take it down. Because I see Cody Rhodes, uh, I see Cody Rhodes um, live right here. So I'm like. I, kind of I, want to I click think it. as long as you don't, I don't, as long as I don't, well, <laughs> as long as you don't play the video or the audio, I think you'll be fine. Dang, I think I so, played the audio on the so last one. What, what you can do is you can just um, like um, skip through the video by clicking certain parts. Just okay, don't okay, play okay. or play with something. Let's present that. Let's present. So... There was also another triple threat. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm gonna do this. Uh, do this real quick. Here, here, what Cody got to say. Did we missed. Well, he playing his music right now. Well, you know what? He quoted. I'll his go voice. back and listen to that in a little bit because I don't want to uh, risk anything. Oh, is that the part where he caught his wife? Look, I'm just gonna hear it. I'm here. I'm just gonna hear it over here on my end. I don't think it was that bit exactly. There was a bit more to it, but. He does quote his wife pretty early into it. Oh, he called himself the king. Yeah, I think it was something like to all the six competitors. If you shoot your shot, the king don't miss. I think that's exactly what he said. And then he blessed. That's crazy. So it was somewhat of a more heelish promo, but. Or maybe just becoming a more serious face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but if if he changes character, people probably won't uh, like him anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause we we were sold on the story and the uh, Cody Rose came from Stardust to Cody Rose to this to that, and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they 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 need to be careful with that. You know what I mean? Yes. They need to be careful with that one. Be very um, yeah, they need to be careful with that one. Um, so what was your thoughts on um on on the final the final match on uh SmackDown tonight? I thought it was great. Like Monday, it was a fantastic closer, a fun triple threat match that actually means something, which is always great. It's good to have a main event that cha- could change next week's main event. So right, right. It's very good. Um, it's got a pretty a very good match for next week as well. Looks very believable, and next week looks like another good week for WWE. Okay, what you think about these triple threat matches? The winner who win this triple threat match got to go to somewhere else and yes. uh, and, and 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 win that triple threat match, and then the winner faces. So now, next Friday will be LA Knight and AJ Styles. Oh, I'm watching that. I'm watching that. That's um, gonna be good. I think the winner will face Cody at Backlash. Who do you think the winner gonna be? 
It's gonna be LA night. There's it's no, gonna be LA night. It's he's way night. His push starts now. Because they're ushering out the new era. Man, I'm mad, man. I don't want to see AJ Styles lose, man. I told you, man, it's like it's hard for me to watch this new era because I like I like I like the old like, people, We still man. have we still have legends in the game still. I feel like at this point they just they just giving it back to the business. I don't think none of them will become champion. I feel like at this point they just get they're just giving it back to the business. And if AJ Styles, he's a heel right now, right? Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. So if 100%. he wins, they're gonna boo him at the building. They're gonna boo. If they were smart, they would have said they would have what they if they were smart, they should have set up two matches. They should have said, okay, mm -hmm. LA Knight, you're gonna be in this match, AJ Styles, you're gonna be in this match, and then AJ Styles win a match, LA Knight win a match, and then a triple threat match, have the fans guessing at backlash because at backlash, they're not gonna let Cody lose unless he get an injury or something. Way too popular. He's like, how would I put it? He's like that fifty million dollar gem in the safe that you don't want anyone to steal. Right, right. You you, right. you don't want anything to happen to him. Right, right. And so, so that's why I say like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's why I say like, man, I don't know. They got to get better with the storytelling, man. They got to get better with it, man. Something's got to happen, man. I don't mm -hmm. know. Something's got to happen. It could happen. I mean, it's in France, so and I think I saw a clip of a couple of uh, French shows, and they look they look pretty nice. So hopefully the crowd will be up for it. Yeah, man, that's gonna be pretty cool, man. I'm gonna have to tune into it, man, and watch it, man. Um, let, let while I got you here, man, let me get your thoughts on WrestleMania. I loved it, man. It was it the was, best. So to it's me, a tale of two nights. A tale of two nights. Right. It was good, man. I like both nights. Man. I'm talking about, you know, I was afraid of watching WrestleMania because, like I said, I don't know this new era, but man, it was good from the start, from Rhea Ripley, mm. Becky Lynch, all the way to the closing night. I'm telling you, dude, I could not wait until uh, to the next day, man. Like, that's how I was. I could not wait until the next day, man. Hmm. But the problem now is like, what next for Rhea Ripley? She got attacked on Monday by Liv Morgan, but like, she's not dropping that title to Liv Morgan. She's she needs not. A, she needs a big marquee match now. Oh, oh. Who needs? I'm I'm sorry, man. I had some uh some people trying to uh. So tell we'll, me go for, to we'll go for Raw superstars. So. So they, they can either have like these title defenses dotted like every other week, or what I would prefer is actually tournaments from mm. both. Well, from Raw, I prefer tournaments rather than have her in a one-on-one -on -one match. Okay, okay. It need it needs more reputation rather is, than is matches. She, okay, okay. Um, let me ask you this. Um. You said they need more representation. Okay, I got you on that. I got you. More, I, I, more reputation. Reputation. Hmm, I got you. Um, Logan Paul. He says he want to go to SmackDown. Uh, I, 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 I watched the uh, interview he did with Triple H with the draft. Mm -hmm. He goes to SmackDown. Who all you think, think is going to come to SmackDown? For me, I've been paying a lot of attention of what could happen in NXT and mm -hmm. especially the spring break and that's coming up right around the same time as the draft. So who do I th think can go to either show? Yeah. I'll start with the call-ups. I can either see all, you know, Ilya Dragunov, Trick Williams and Mel Hayes. Okay. I could see either all three of them getting drafted or Melo and Ilya drafted. Oh, really? Yeah. Ilya has to go to SmackDown and Melo goes to Raw. Okay. But I can also see Trick Williams getting drafted to SmackDown, but like Braun Breaker, he had a title, so he had to stay on NXT. Okay. 
So I think that that could happen. So when Trick does lose the title, he goes to SmackDown. Mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Braun Breaker had a match tonight. Who? Braun Breaker had a match tonight. Okay. How did he they go? Carmelo, uh, not Carmelo, it was Cameron Grimes. It was a four minute match. It was four fun, minutes. It was a, f- it, it was, it was okay for what they had. But yeah. one spear, it was over. But you know what? The crowd was actually in it with Braun Breaker. They were barking with him and he was actually getting over. Mm. Okay. You know who I'm mostly uh excited about? Who uh uh okay, I'm ex- you know who I'm really excited about when it comes to winning a championship at WrestleMania? Who our truth. He deserves it, man. Oh, yeah, he does. Let me tell you, it's like it's like they got him playing crazy for all these years. And like, dude, this dude deserves a championship, man. He de- do you know if now tell me if you if you disagree with this, okay? Let's say Royal Rumble come. Mm-hmm. Our truth wins the Royal Rumble. Bro, man, the roof is going to go off the building. It will go off the building. But it will. That 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 could be like seven, eight figures going out the window if you do that. Out the window? Yeah. Explain. I mean, I, I can name 10 superstars who can win the Royal Rumble and make more money than R-Truth would. But see, that's the thing. They not even giving him an opportunity. But I'm saying, like, if they build his character up right now and build his character up and build his character up and build his character up and build his character up, up, like they doing solo and all of these other people, dude, our truth will he deserve a championship, but he deserved more than the tag team championships. I just feel like he just been there for so long, man. And he's just like it's like how 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 many times do you want me to play crazy, <laughs> little Jimmy, He's little Jimmy, tw- little Jimmy? Seven title like thirty times as well. That's what I'm saying. But like, th- dude, that's that's a play play title. Get this dude an intercontinental championship, a ten pot championship, or at least give him the United States championship. Show this man, like, bro, I've been here. I think he was U.S. champion earlier he, in his career. He was. Oh. I, I just think feel like was. I just feel like they need to give him more, man, of an opportunity. No, he was the hardcore champion. Yeah, he was the hardcore champion for a little while, I believe. I just feel like he deserve a better opportunity, man. That's just that's just my my opinion. I think what makes it worse is that we still like him, but we all know it's just way too late. Yeah, and he's what fifty two, I think fifty one. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, man. Get this man an opportunity, man. How often? Do, but do you agree with what I'm saying? Like, how how many times do you want me to play dumb with Lil Jimmy? <laughs> how many times? It's crazy. It over, overdue. It was way long overdue. Yeah, way long overdue, man. It's overdue, man. It's just to me, it's just overdue. Fortunately, mm-hmm. but you know, it's good to see the old old memories back, and Archer and Miz are now tag team champions. Yeah. Awesome truth. Awesome truth. Yes. Do you think um Summer Slam Summer Slam go come? Miz is go do so okay. Let's say who you think right now, who you think because somebody got to double cross somebody at Summer Slam. It was the Bella twins, they double cross, the Hardy Boys, they mm. double cross, Jimmy Uso, they double cross. Summer Slam go come around. And and it's probably too early to predict it because. Um, all the tag, the new the tag teams to come haven't been yeah. um set up yet. But if you can say a tag team from right now that's going on, who would you say that will double cross who? Well, we're talking about SummerSlam, so I think we need ladders, a ladder match. Okay. So we need a ladder match for those raw titles. I think we do ladder matches for both titles. Yeah. Or we can kind of do the the same concept where the two titles will hang above the ring and three Raw, three SmackDown can all go at it and try and 
get which one because I yeah i think that yeah. that would be a lot more easier and i think the talent would appreciate that more as well yeah but my question is who you think would double cross who though oh uh double cross sorry um creed brothers have got to get in there for me oh creed brothers the creed brothers uh diy they're they're getting pretty popular now I think it's got to be a long time, Robert, like a long time. But I, Jay, I, I'm saying if Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair uh, become tag team for a long time. That is horror. Don't. <laughs> Jay Cargill uh, go turn heel. She got to turn heel. That's I mean, the only how she gets. I don't feel yeah. like she get the pop that she that they hope for because they took too long with her, first of all. But Jay Cargill has to turn heel, man. She got to turn heel. She she needs that Shayna Baszler type of treatment. She needs to be treated like a big deal. Yeah, because I mean she is. I feel like she's 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 the red carpet been laid out for. I just feel like everybody was like, "Where's Jay Cargill? Where's Jay Cargill? Where's Jay Cargill?" And Jay Cargill here, and there's it's not Cargill, and it's not Cargill, and for me, maybe for you because you mm. watch it more than me, but it's not. It's she's not getting that big pop like. Like, like, like I think they hope for. You know who I? I don't know, but she just signed a new deal. I wish Sasha Banks come back though. I'm sure it's one day. I, I don't think she's gone from WWE forever, but I don't think she'll be be back anytime soon. Uh, let me get your thoughts since I did jump hop all hop all over. Man, you, you gotta you gotta excuse me, dude. I hop all over the place, man, because I be trying to keep the conversation going and things like that. That's good. That's good. Uh. Question for you. Did you see the CM Punk video? Yeah. Everything CM Punk said, it happened in that video. So does that hurt AEW or does that strength and strengthen CM Punk's um statement or what? What's your thoughts on that? It makes CM Punk, you know, look much better. Yeah. But I guess uh, the real answers will probably come next Wednesday. We'll see if their plan worked. Yeah. Can they can they retain that twenty percent, that twenty nine percent increase in viewers? Yeah. They just how, how do you feel about Dustin Rose asking Samoa and Joe and Samoa Joe for for a, a a fight after Cody Rose Cody Rose won his story? Samoa Joe and Dustin. Yeah. They had a fight. Um, they started fighting about the championship and stuff like that. I felt like it was kind of like a rebirth of my brother won, so let me win. Mm. That story got to get so better. Cody sold this story so good, man. It's like, man, Dusty, man. I want, I, I want him. I, I'm calling. I'm gonna call him Gold Dust. But I feel like he needs to win a championship. But and Cody just, Cody just outsold him with that story. You think he might be a little jealous? Maybe. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Um, I don't know how long he got on his contract, but if he come back, it could possibly be him and well, now the Rock go come back before SummerSlam because the Rock already mm. said, "Rather you champion or not, I'm coming back for you, Cody." But that'd be good though. Him and Cody going against each other though, Dusty Goldust and Cody. I, like I'm like he been the jealous brother, you know. I guess we'll we'll have to see because the Cody and Rock match that that is the biggest match they can make right now. Yeah, no, that's definitely the biggest match they can make right now. Definitely for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. It it doesn't seem believable to do it at WrestleMania, right? Nah, yeah. I don't want to see it at WrestleMania. We've seen that story before. I, the Rock, you, the Rock is like you know at WrestleMania. You already know nine times out of ten, the Rock wins. But I don't think they would take the, the belt away from Cody for The Rock to go back to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, I yeah, I mean, The Rock didn't even lose the main event at WrestleMania. He won. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You already know The Rock. And and that's that's what I'm saying. The Rock <clears throat> win, but Roman Reigns is the champion. Roman Reigns should have. They both should have. If they was to write that story, they both should have stood in the ring and just put their feet over Cody Rhodes and then pinned him. That would have sold more. Like we the bloodline. Yeah, I mean, C Cody needs to get like his ass kicked pretty much. 
he, yeah. he really does. Yeah, so the rock to can. I mean, the rock is already getting nuclear heat. Right. Even at the Hall of Fame ceremony. Yeah. But it's the biggest match they can make, and maybe it could be a SummerSlam or even a Royal Rumble. Yeah. What do you think the Rock put in Cody Rose's hand? There was rumors on um, Twitter. I believe it was the old version of Dusty's watch. Mm. That seems to be the current rumor going around right now. But so, so what about the watch? That, what what about the watch that they gave? Uh, that Triple H and them gave him. I thought that that was the watch. What what do you mean the old version? I'm not not sure. Nothing's really concrete. The matter. There's so many stories. Right, 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 a lot right, of manipulation. Right, right. Right, 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 right. And exactly. Cody Rose yeah. didn't speak on that tonight. He managed to speak about it without saying what it was. Mm. See, I don't like all that, man. Tell me what tell me. Don't 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 give me all of these bits mm. and pieces and things of that nature, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, but I mean we just we just gotta see. What Triple H can do then? Yeah, we gotta see, man. I'll be, I'll be for tuning in for sure Monday, man. For sure, I'll be turning in, man. I'll be busy, man. I'll be having a lot going on, but I'm making it my business to go live every day, either at seven or seven thirty. But I gotta I gotta get a set time because people be waiting on me, so I gotta get a set time seven o'clock daily, man. At least daily, man. I'm trying to get more, uh, go more lives, do more lives now. Mm. Uh, it says a oh, right. Uh, it's, it's 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 a right back. It says breaking news. It says breaking news. Tony Khan suffered a heart attack at home and fell to the ground. CM Punk opened champagne as soon as he heard the news. <laughs> right back. <laughs> hey, look, that was really funny, man. Look, that was. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't. I know it's not true. <laughs> But that was really funny, man. Look, we I appreciate it. you. I believe it. Look, we appreciate it. Look, uh, subscribe to the channel, man. If you like more content like this, subscribe to the channel, man. We appreciate you, man. Thank you. That was really funny. Breaking news. Tony Khan suffered a heart attack at home and fell to the ground. CM Punk opened a... Because, you know, because because uh, CM Punk don't like him for people that's watching that don't know what they're talking about. CM Punk don't like Tony Khan. He said it's a zoo over there, man. <laughs> You think it's a zoo over there? I, I don't even know what, what to call it. Um, it's just a hot mess. Yeah. And and they and because I think the men are now starting to have a problem with like what why why is Osprey just going off on Triple H like that on AEW television? Yeah. And like, even the fans who attended AEW were chanting CM Punk's name whilst the the the, the video was shown. They, so they they aired it live. Yeah, but what they're wow. doing, but W uh, AEW are very sensitive. So what they did is, if you sh if you play a video of that footage, it could be anywhere, like live footage. Uh, fan footage if you even play that they will dmc a you and they'll send you an email and copyright you yeah. dang well i'm glad and we won't be playing that's that on video. twitter youtube and twitch dang so, so you be on print. so you be on a twitch guaranteed team? strike dang. A guaranteed strike dang that's crazy yo well why well why well why would that well you know why? Because everybody giving them heat and everybody's on CM Punk's side versus their side. You know what I mean? So, but whatever CM Punk said, he didn't lie. He said, I went to the back. I whispered something in him and told him that if they don't handle it, he's going to handle it. And before you know, he said he choked them out. He choked them out. Yeah, and, yeah. It just choked them a little bit. Yeah, choked them a little bit. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that happened, man. So, like, I've had worse fights with my brother than that. And he was fearing for his life. <laughs> he wasn't even in the same room and he was fearing for his life. For real, my boy Dundee said like, he was in the same room. He was fearing for his life. Dang, that's crazy. 
But uh, yeah, man. So man, I mean, you know, this was this was cool, man. I'm gonna have to tune back into it, man, and you know, maybe we can do another one. You know what I'm saying? Probably do mm-hmm. one a little earlier or something, man, because uh, the comment section wasn't really booming tonight like it was the other night, man. When we mm-hmm. so maybe I think I do got to do a little earlier, me, and try it again, man. Uh, man, Donnie, man, look, it was a pleasure, man, meeting you, man. It was a pleasure, man. I appreciate you for uh supporting supporting the channel. And uh man, look, we can do this again, man. Look, we we got we you have my contact information, uh mm-hmm. Instagram. So man, definitely, yep. man, we can do this again. I want to get like some real like me, like I'm just now coming back into the fold, so it's interesting. So I want to get like some real wrestling heads, man. So y'all can really just you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, enlighten me on what's going on, man. So I'm gonna try to get you and my boy Gaston on, man. And uh and uh and talk about it, man. He, he's he he's real busy though. But I got a couple of more people I got in mind, so I'm definitely gonna stay in touch with you, man. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm wide open, man. I mean, I've got my schedule so empty, so if you need okay. someone, just hop on last minute. You can let me know. Okay, cool, man. No problem, man. I appreciate you, Dundee. Man, Do, are you into boxing too, MMA, or oh, anything yeah. like that? Yeah, I'm 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 gonna be watching the Haney fight. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be streaming that one live, man. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. be doing that one live, man. You probably can like join in, uh. Join in live or something. Yeah, I don't know. We, I, we, I can do that. Okay, we, I'm gonna try to set it up. I don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to work it out, man. I'm gonna try to do a couple of test runs and things like that, man, and see how it work out. Mm. Okay, for sure, man. I'm, I'm gonna, ta- I'm gonna try to do some edits and tag you in a couple of these videos, man, and uh, that way you, you know, you could be a part of the team, man. I appreciate you, man. You gotta get us some subscribers over there, man, and uh. <laughs> What, what what part you in, man? Hmm? What part you in? You I know you said you was overseas. What 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 just overseas, man? You gotta get us some subscribers Ooh, over there overseas, man. Yeah. <laughs> get us, some, get us some couple, of the, the Scottish subscribers. Yeah, man. Gotta give us a couple of subscribers, man. Tell them, man, come watch me, man. I'm Dundee. I'll be on the channel too, you know. So yeah, man. We'll appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, no problem. You have a good one, okay? All right. All right, you too, one. man. All right, you too, man.